The new banner defender is out. Cool little ship, two-seater, size three weapons all over the place, big shields, and that looks very cool. I want to talk about it, but first, I want to talk about what's behind that ship in this new concept art, which blew my mind. I am Montoya, thanks for joining me. All right, banner defender, cool little ship. We'll talk about that in the next video. Right now, I want to talk about, in the background, the merchantman. For the longest time, those of you who bought the Merchantman in the initial sale have been begging, I know you've been bugging poor Ben Lesnick for years almost, give us something, give, here it is. I am blown away by the size of this thing. All right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit on this picture, all right? Enhance. Enhance a bit more. More enhancing. More, 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 little more, little more, little more. That's about right. All right. What we are looking at here, and I want you to look carefully, very carefully focus on this. We are looking at two people standing here, obviously. Assuming that these guys here are about 1.8 meters in height. Uh, we have to zoom out to actually see this more. Assuming those guys are about 1.8 meters, look how massive the landing gear is on this thing that's just the landing gear and we have to keep on panning keep on panning doesn't even fit the entire ship in to get the accurate idea of how big okay there's no ways this thing is 100 meters anymore this thing has ballooned this is idris size this is bigger than idris side foundry 42 it's the uk guys they did it again <laughs> take a look at what they did when the idris was sent to them what you're looking at here is a comparison of the old Idris and the new one. As you can see, the old one, pretty shitty. The new one, unbelievable. What they did was simply take it, put the thing on growth hormone, stick some steroids on there too, and you've got what is the new Idris, double the size of the original one. I suspect they did the same thing here. They simply took the old stuff era ballooned it in size to something which I have no idea. There's no way it's 100 meters. Anyways, I'm really jealous. If you bought this during the original concept, you scored. Congratulations. Uh, it looks like an amazing ship. It's going to be a blockade runner, heavily armored, can haul 5,000 units of cargo. I don't know if the stats are still accurate. And was it actually called a generational ship at some point? I don't know. But actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the stats of the merchantman. Here we go, pulling some of the original stats down. That's the original concept art. Looks like poo compared to the new one. Uh, nice indoor. This is the only shot of the indoors we had for the longest time. Obviously, much bigger than this right now. And there's the other one. But uh, the stats said 100 meters in length. I think we're way beyond that. Uh, cargo capacity, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually increased that too. So, in conclusion... You lucky son of a bitch has already own it. If you don't own the Bandit Merchantment, is it on sale? It's on sale right now. Uh, War Bond Edition is $300. That means you can buy it for cash for $300. If you're going to use store credits, it's going to be $350. Congrats, owners. I'm very jealous. And let's go take a look at the Banu Defender in the next video that follows this one. By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. And give me a comment down below. What do you think of the new Merchantman? Do you own one? Or will you be buying one if this is really bigger than an address? Post below. Let me know. I'll see you in the next video.